WWDC 2020 is winding down. Eric Eckel here with me again for Tech Republic uh, to kind of give us an overview of your thoughts on uh, this virtual conference, Eric. Now that we're on the back end of it, uh, how do you think it went? You know, I, I think Apple did well with the format. Watching the presentation, I thought, wow, I, I bet these folks are nervous that, you know, they're broadcasting to how many people live. And then it dawned on me, they probably recorded it beforehand and had it all ready to go. So um, that, that shows you how naive I can be. But I thought they did well with the format. I don't think that there were any surprises other than maybe the hand-washing app being uh, included or the hand-washing feature being included in the watch OS, which uh, is helpful. But... Overall, there were not many surprises. There was, uh, of course, an announcement that uh, iOS uh, 14 coming, I think I got the number right there, the new iPad OS, the new watch OS, uh, and the new Mac update, the Mac OS update. And those were expected, as well as the announcement, of course, that was moving to Apple Silicon, which is really the arms holding licensed uh, Silicon, I believe. But it's, encouraging to see that announcement because that is going to mean users aren't going to necessarily have to buy different versions of applications across all of their hardware. You may not need any more, depending on the app, to purchase a standalone application for uh, the iPhone, for the iPad, and then yet again for the Mac. It, it depends ultimately on how Apple and the developers license those technologies. But moving to Apple Silicon is gonna provide the opportunity for those apps to work uh, across those hardware platforms. And that could be pretty cool. You could see some robust development occur because developers are not having to support different uh, you know, micro architectures, if you will, you know, different CPU platforms. What does that mean for Windows? Can you still run Windows on a Mac you know, using the new Apple Silicon? I don't know. Uh, I, I think I haven't heard anybody jump out and say, oh, yeah, they're going to continue to provide that technology, including Microsoft. And maybe that's OK at this point, because if I'm like other folks, I have run boot camp before and I have not booted into a boot camp session for probably two years. And I run VMware Fusion, the virtualization technology that allows me to run Windows directly within Mac OS. And I'll use that occasionally, but I've gotten a new uh, MacBook Pro in the last four or five weeks, and I haven't even loaded the virtual machine on that new laptop because I haven't needed it. Yeah, and I think, and, and, it, and it seems for Apple uh, Silicon, there's been a lot of positive reviews or thoughts, uh, you know, floating around there on social media. And I think one of the things that we talked about the, the last time that we uh, chatted at the first of the week, Eric, uh, was that developers, uh, maybe because of this setup or because they didn't have all of the, the um, as much of the fanfare, that it would maybe bring the developers back into the fold a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit more engaged. I think so. I, I think it's going to be easier for application providers to maintain their applications. There will be a little bit of work using uh, Xcode or Universal 2 to get older applications compatible with the, the new hardware, but I don't think it's going to be as laborious a task as maybe we saw when we went from PowerPC to the Intel chips. And it's going to allow developers, including with the Apple single sign-on, or not Apple single sign-on, but the Apple you know sign-in with Apple technology, developers I don't think are going to have to spend as much time coding the logins. They'll be able to to ride that technology that Apple's introduced that maybe can make some of the login work a little bit easier and now you're only coding for you know a, a, a single hardware platform for the most part there will of course be differences on a, a macbook versus an ipad but they'll be using the same underlying you know engines so that will simplify and um you know, if, if i'm a developer some of that simplification is going to allow me to really focus on building improvements into the products that i provide and support so that's probably a good thing sure yeah. Most definitely. Uh, well, wrapping up here, so you would give a, a, a thumbs up uh, to WWDC 2020, the online version. Uh, certainly, I think so. You know, the way that, that Apple managed the remote presentation was typical Apple. It, it was elegant. It was informative. It was to the point. 
you know, the um, presentations that they had pre-prepared, you know, some of the video work was, uh, you know, uh, very polished. And that was good to see. That's what everyone has come to expect from Apple. And maybe we're getting a, a little bit selfish because some of the updates that were announced to iOS and some of the, the cool new ways that you're going to be able to customize the interface, including on an iPad and uh, in Macs moving forward with the Mac OS update are cool. There are some great improvements coming in Safari and the switch to uh, the Apple Silicon is a big deal. Uh, it's just we've come to you know expect so much, I think, from Apple, especially at WWDC and this being uh, you know, such a strange season that it is this summer. It would have been cool to see a few more, but, you know, it's hard to say that Apple didn't deliver with the announcements that they made. So, uh, you know, that's encouraging. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And I think, uh, you know, setting the tone for others to follow, they've done a nice job. As we know, people, uh, groups will be looking to them. Uh, well, Eric, I certainly appreciate you, of course, yeah, sure. with us and your, your commentary uh, on this. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. We have uh, a good bit of information on uh, Apple's developer conference, of course, on Tech Republic and ZDNet and uh, a lot of the announcements, the keynote, all of that good stuff. So we hope you check it out there. Thanks for watching. Thank you.